Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Distant Worlds 2, episode number 10 as the Xenox. I'm excited, I think we're going to get some stuff done this, this uh, episode, I don't know what that'll be, but we can start off by looking at the research screen. Um, by the way, a trick I found for getting the game to move nicely, at least for NVIDIA cards, or at least for my NVIDIA card, but one other person tested on theirs and they also found an improvement, is if you right click on your desktop and bring up the NVIDIA control panel, um, you can set the max, I, I think it's on one, on one of the tabs on the left, some, one of the settings tabs, you can uh, basically set the max frames per second for your NVIDIA card. And I set it to 59 for mine, and it just the game is running so much smoother. So um, I'm, I matriculated that uh, information over to the design team. Hopefully they uh, can make use of it, but in the meantime, you might also try to take advantage of it. Okay, so um, research-wise, we only have one thing left, Enhanced Commerce Center, and this is probably not that important. It's going to be a nice boost, but I don't... Actually, I'm not sure how nice of a boost it'll be. Planetary Governance is on my mind to get, even though we only have our one colony right now. I think that would be useful. But there are a few that are low-hanging fruit I would like to get. I think at this point, it is time to get the Crystal Sensors. We're getting to the point where we have a lot of places spread out, and we're going to start to want to know where different ships are, so I want to put that... And that actually has a pretty decent range. It's, it's not it's not quite a long range scanner. And this does, I've never played as the Xenox to the point where I've done this, but I think it's true <laughs> that you can go right from this to advanced sensors, which are the long range sensor V2. Which means that although we didn't go to long range sensors, I think we can jump right to the advanced sensors from crystal sensors. It looks like that's the case. So, I mean, it would just this enhanced sensors probably just doesn't go anywhere. Um, anyway, so it probably it's one of those things as well where if you turned on random tech tree, you could get the enhanced sensors going to advanced sensors instead. So, I mean, I can see that happening. Nonetheless, this is good. You can see on the bottom, trace scan range is 500,000, which that would just say 500k. But anyways, down over here, this is essentially 2,000k. Two, Sorry, so it's four times longer, which is, yeah, it's a pretty sizable difference. But look at the difference with the improved sensors. This is 125. So the crystal sensors are four times better than the improved sensors, but four times worse than the long range sensors. Still, you can jump right from these over to the, the long range ones, you know, I think, I'm pretty sure. So that makes these like a really good candidate for us to get and then stage us for the advanced sensors. Um, the next thing I want to put on the list is armor. We already have armor a little bit complete, and I think that this is just a really high priority to get better armor because we're taking advantage of it. I mean, it has lower size than our shields, even though our shields are actually lower size than any of the tier 3 shields that anybody else will be using. But still, um, lowering the size every now and then is just going to be very important. Before I do that, though, there's one other thing I want to get, which is the enhanced maneuvering. Uh, this, the original directional thruster, is just so garbage, and it doesn't take almost any time for us to research this. So I'd like to get that before I get the layered armor, which is going to take about two years. And that nicely sets up our next three technologies after we finish Enhanced Commerce. Enhanced Commerce right now is not crash researched. We cannot crash research it until we get about, well, right now it's 49,000, so we'll wait for that to tick down and our money hopefully to tick up. And then between the two of those, yeah, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll be able to crash research it pretty soon. Uh, and I would like to, even though it's I mean, it's two years. I would love to get that down to one, right? Uh, just cut a whole year off that. Uh, another thing, we're slowly gathering up our fleet. It is all here, and it is a total strength of 2,000, which is fantastic. There are a few um, resort places I was considering getting. You know, I think in hindsight, I mean, on further consideration, I should say, I don't think I'm going to go do that. So this is the best one that's left, but we actually already have four nice locations inside of Alzuk. And if I'm not mistaken, the most um, precious, uh, I, I think the way resort bases are done is the closer they are to a planet, the better. It almost doesn't make sense to me. I mean, I guess part of, some people would like to go to a far off place. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I can imagine people being like, I wanna leave the Alzuk system. Like, I, I wanna leave the United States. I wanna go somewhere international. I imagine that same sen sentiment would hold, especially because you'd be experiencing a different star, different light. It'd be pretty impressive. Anyway, um, yeah, so I don't know. We probably want to resort outside of here. I don't think the game models this different star effect. <laughs> anyway, so let's unpause while we're talking here because now I've kind of already talked about what I want to. 
Um, but, oh, actually, I need to pause again. Sorry, because we have to go to ship design. While I was yep, yapping away, as I like to do at the end of the episode, sorry about that, we finished, we got the enhanced missiles, and we also got the medical systems. And I have not done any upgrades for ships, even though these are very important things to upgrade. In fact, we don't have to do any upgrades, I think, for ships. Wait, does the, not the escort, it's the frigate that actually uses the missiles. So we can upgrade the seeking missiles. I think we have a better seeking missile now. Let's go to the latest per category. Yeah, 19. So it's good. We have the concussion missile. So yeah, we do need to upgrade the frigate. We don't have to go upgrade anybody else. But we do need to upgrade the frigate. And there it is. Got the concussion missile on there right away. Which is great. That's uh, just basically a damage DPS upgrade. Um, concussion missile in every way better than the original one. Much worth having. Uh, and that's it. We'll save this design. And I don't know what else has that, but... These are automatic, so we'll go down to the next one, which isn't, which is Research Station, and we'll upgrade this. And it already put on the Concussion Missile for us. I'm still, like, ta I'm still pretty torn about whether or not the 700 extra range of this Concussion Missile... Well, actually, yeah, it is nice, because... I might even get this... We'll remove this one. No, we don't, we don't have the space. So, we'll have to leave it like this. This Concussion Missile, it would be nice to put two of them on, because they're very potent. Uh, the medium ones. We are getting medium star beams on here as well, which I actually didn't even think about. We could probably downgrade two of these mediums to uh, smalls and then get uh, a medium concussion missile here. Yeah, but the size of eight. We could actually do it with only one. Uh, anyway, okay, so we'll, we'll leave it as is. Other thing we wanted to do is medical systems, which is not here. Resort base is going to upgrade as well, just to get... Oh, wait, nope. I, I guess there's actually nothing on the resort base which could, would be upgraded. Because there are no missiles there, and there is no medical. Okay, so the resort base can stay as is. And I can view that probably just by doing 8428-421. 8428... Well, it's not 421, is it? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, go down to the spaceport. This one does need to get upgraded because this has missiles. They're now concussion missiles. And it also had just the basic medical, and now it has real medical. Oh, in fact... I bet you these were small and it added the medium variety. So we'll probably have to put the smalls back on. Or we can put two mediums. Let's take a look. Well, it looks like one medium is exactly <laughs> two smalls. And that's not true only for the intercepting of fighters on the bottom. So we'll take the mediums. We'll take two mediums instead. Um, this is a 270 which is open? Oh no, oh no, the star beams are on the wrong ones. Okay, so that's right, never let the computer decide anything. It upgraded them, but it put them on the wrong spots. So I will put my... Yeah, I'm gonna put my um, two here. That's one there and one there, that's good. They're facing opposite. And then we need to go over to the star beam and get these on the 270s. They weren't there, thank God I checked. It's really, really super incompetent that the game doesn't do that for you, but there it is. It doesn't do it, so just watch out. Now, we're still over by four, which is, gosh darn it, frustrating. Um, we can't get rid of the static energy, so we have two, 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 four, 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 four. What I could do is, <laughs> I think I might get rid of one armor and throw on another, um, throw on, a, sorry, get rid of two armors and throw on one shield? That's what I was thinking about doing, but no, that's not what I want to do. I could get rid of another shield and throw out two more armors. It's getting a little bit ridiculous at this point. No, just one armor. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna have four armor and only two shields. The more shields you have, the fast recharging ones, it's nice because it's a fa I mean, it's more recharging rate. 
But fine, fine, fine. Fair enough, we'll do it this way. I guess we could have gotten rid of the small fighter bay, but I really like that thing. It's got a lot of potential to do damage, so we'll leave it. This thing can repair itself pretty quickly, so I'll just leave it. Um, you know, with the armor and less shields. I'd prefer the shields, but... C'est la vie. Yeah, wait. How, why? I could drop two armor and get one shield. So basically, instead of dropping the shield I can, and getting armor... I think I'll just do it this way. I'll just drop one armor instead. Yeah. Okay, that's better. It's only two armor, but... That's better. I'm saying that's better. I'm not sure if that's true. It's... And it's better in my view. Okay, so that's all the upgrades we need to do. That includes both the missiles and the medical. Now we can move on. So yeah, I want to get all of our fleet consolidated into one area. I think we have almost all the military ships in this one. So I can sort by non-fleet. Non and it looks like it's only my fuel tankers. So that means that if we want to increase our fleet anymore, we simply have to build more ships. Which is not exactly what I want to do, because as I said, I want to continue to target... Oh no! How did this happen? How did we get it down here? All right, importantly, we stole railgun weaponry from the Kakirians. Let's see how far, oh, no, actually this, it looks like it is still slowing down a little bit. Um, okay, we still have energy, first of all, what do we get? Railgun, okay, so we're, we're a little bit more than halfway. We're down to 71 days on the railguns, but we're just gonna keep grabbing at that thing. So go back to the Kakirians, you've done a great job. Uninhibited. Well, it's not great. <laughs> it's really not great. As long as he does his job, I don't really care. Railgun weaponry, 99%. It's pretty good. Go, go, go. Oh, gosh. Wait. Who did I just assign? This middle one, right? We have somebody already working on the railgun stuff. This guy's a double agent, which means really bad things. Hey, he still has 98%. I don't understand it. So what can what can we get from the Gakirians that's not that? Because I don't know if we'll finish Railgun Weaponry from that third one. You'd hate to have somebody wasting their time, though. Pulse Weapons. Ah, that's the next one, but apparently someone else is already working on that. Okay, Energy Torpedoes. Get something. <laughs> Man, this guy's my only normal spy. They do tend to pick up these negative traits. It's been reduced so much compared to where it was um, in the beta, by the way. <laughs> okay, let me just... Can I double-click to open this? So, uh, granite, crystal. Where are you? I don't know where you are. You're over there. In Odin. Which I, I think I'm going to want to go to. Any place with the red lightning bolt is going to get a visit from my fleet. Now that we have the better... Stuff. Okay, well, so, yeah, I think we're just gonna go chase after these guys. That one ship with the single rate of 700, that one fighter. Yeah, let's go, let's go pay this planet a visit. Oops. Okay, so let me right, control, right click, move. I think there might be somebody there we need to take care of. We'll find out. Anyways, they have the fuel range to jump there and then jump back now with their Garrix hyperdrives. And in theory, there's a bunch of fleet, um, sorry, fuel tankers running around, or at least a couple of them. It's cool, we can see these guys. Yeah, and again, uh, to target my, one of my early objectives is going to be to eliminate the Clan of Superiority since we know exactly where they are. We prefer to get rid of the Rodal Corsairs as well, because we're still paying them money. But after we get rid of the Clan of the Superiority, I'll probably just use my defense fleet to chase down any Rodal Corsairs interference. And when you pay them off, they don't use your system as like an objective for raiding, which usually means they might go somewhere else. And then you're okay to... Uh, yeah, I mean, it kind of buys you time. Like, they moved elsewhere, so you actually have time before they can even move back to your, to your uh, space. Hopefully they're off harassing someone else. I mean, we are paying them, so they're now building up better ships because of the money we're giving them, which is always the disadvantage of paying protection money. And yes, that is completely modeled in the game. They get their income from this production money. Anyways, we'll slowly advance. I'll make it a little bit less slow by moving up to 4x. 
but we'll slowly advance our research here while waiting for the money to trickle on in. Budget looks fine, everything looks fine here. I think, what's our research at? 195, it's pretty good. We finished a new fuel tanker. I That one should be automated by default. It is, good. I have no weapons, apparently. Discovered something new. It's good to see that my um, researchers are still doing something. So did we went to Abenshi and this has got what kind of station at it? We can take that, I think. I mean, maybe. Let's pause real fast and find out what we're up against. Oof. Why do they think that this is this is really good? Oh my gosh, they only put this at a rating of 1300? This looks devastating. Seven heavy armor, three Corvidian shields. The three Corvidian shields aren't that good. They're, I mean, they're actually worse than the shields I'm using. Two medium starfighter bays, which is pretty impressive by itself. And, oh, what? This is liberated to the stars, though. We have no quarrel with them for the moment. Okay, so... The red on this must only be from... No, no, that's a yellow. That's not a red. Where did I send my people? <laughs> I don't know. Where, where, where are they? Yeah, they're headed here. Okay, so now there's no longer any red here. So these guys should take care of anything else. Oh, brother. We went to the wrong place. Is there anybody here in this system? Yeah, there's red here. Let's go over and investigate this, and then we'll probably have to go home to refuel after that. But let's go take a look. Okay, got some more stuff. I could restart, just quit to main menu and reload to get rid of the pop-ups being down here. I'm not sure what exactly triggers that yet, otherwise i tried to avoid it. We'll probably have the money to crash research this. 1.4 years. Still 4,000 short. Uh, even though we've knocked like almost a whole year off of it, it didn't drop by that much. So I'm gonna decline this. Those escorts are pretty nice. I mean, what's the cost again? Oh, okay. Good thing we didn't double up on railgun weaponry. Decline that. So apparently our Mac Asari has stolen from the Gakirians. Now he may be a double agent and have all these negative modifiers, but I guess he's still just darn good at his job. We'll go back to the Gokarians. Maybe he's also transmitting that information to the, the other double, I mean the person he's a double agent for? I don't know. Could be. We have early pulse, we have energy weapons. I, gosh, I think at this point we might as well just steal the Akdarian language. Konosh, I don't really plan to be so diplomatic with them anyway. I guess what I could do is start investigating others. Tractor beams is almost done. Ion weapons, that's that's interesting. Yeah, so basically ion weapons is the only thing of interest here. Uh, these guys are even harder to take from, so we won't do that. Okay, so let's go with uh, tractor beams then. Or, sorry, ion weapons then. Good luck. Godspeed. Yeah, so we're definitely over budgeting for everything right now, which is good. Wait. What? Why did this. Does this keep happening? I did not. Uh, see this. Do you notice that this happened? Very sneaky the way this happens. I kept declining it, but at some point they just decided to build it anyway. I don't understand why. I don't want to destroy it. I already spent all the money building it, but I don't want it built to begin with, because that's a waste of my money. It's also a waste of maintenance now. Okay, I'm actually not sure what, uh, how much it requires to build. Does it require anything to build? I just can't. Yeah, we have no buildable facilities. Let me see. Can I just? Maintenance cost is a thousand. I don't know. I just, it's just frustrating. 
So decline this, we apparently got a, a bump in money from the private economy, so now we can go over here and pay the cost. 30,000. I'm considering getting those two heavy escorts they're asking for. Because if I look at this ship design window, we have two here. This guy's 4,100 and this guy's 5,300. This heavy escort really isn't that much worse. I mean, I guess it is a a, a fair bit worse-er now that the missile tech has come in. Okay, he's stolen early pulse weapons. Um, apparently didn't finish them, so that's why I'm going up here. Three weapons. Oh, wow. Okay, four days. <laughs> we can handle that. We can we can finish that one off, no problem. Early pulse weapons. What else might we want to take? Oh, I guess I'll pause when this guy's still looking around. Yeah, you know what? I think at this point, let's just start getting the... Getting the, uh... What's it called? Oh, we can steal the full galaxy map? But I can get this. I think I'll just do that. Start working on the Actarians. We want to befriend them, so we shall steal technology from them about how to befriend them. That actually kind of makes sense. Okay, this guy evaded detection, energy torpedo weapons. They want to offer me energy torpedo weapons for 13,000? Okay, that's weird. We just... Energy torpedo weapons... Oh yeah, we have 45 days left, so 45 days, I think it's worth it. I'll accept. Which means that the spy is going to have to figure out something else to do. We'll probably again just start doing like Tekken stuff. Whoops. Tekken. Either that or more ion weapons. We'll probably need more ion weapons. But eh, it'll just go for the Tekken language and all that. If I want to be friends with them, that'll be nice to have. If nothing else, I can trade it away. All right. Unknown system map. I'm going to decline that. I'd rather get my money up for the next research tech. Hmm. Oh. Okay, so what are you guys doing? You're hanging out. And over here... Is definitely something. It's that guy. Oh, this is weird, because I, I want him to destroy that mining station. <laughs> it's great to see that the pirates are full-on attacking other people, though. Isn't that great? Makes you feel better. Like, okay, I'm not. it's not just me. It is everyone who gets picked on. It's gonna have to be though. Wow, we're very close to that next. That next technology. There it is. Okay. Um, pulse weapons are gonna take four days. We'll just wait for that one to come in. Three, four, five, six. Weird, weird how this technology stuff works sometimes. I. It must be. There must be something about it which um. Like, it doesn't tick over. It's kind of like when you set the five-day jumps in Aurora. Anyways, this is going to take 18,000 to crash research, and we have 26,000 available. That'll put us down to almost nothing, as far as money goes, but it'll also mean that this only takes, well, 130 days less. So, 130 days total. Do I want to kill that thing? 
They have two of them here. I kind of want to see... Oh, wow, that, that's already done. I, I'm going to jump in. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Sorry, we have to scroll out. We are pretty close. So let's move to here. Oh my gosh, they straight up killed it. And this guy has a uh, grimy distress. It's uh, very appropriately named. He's jumping. Are we going to get in there in time? No. Maybe for the best. Drats. Well, we'll have to just turn around and go home. Uh, I will hit refuel after this. A new spy appears. Oh, good. So, he yeah, had someone else we can send to steal. Let's steal the galaxy map. That's a little risky. We steal the galaxy map of the Hakonish? Yeah, well, territory map. Let's do it. We'll find out how good or bad he is. Trial by fire. So they, wow, the pirates here, they just straight up attacked everything. Whoa, he's still there. I wonder what he's here for. That means we will arrive on time. Is he picking up the parts here or something? Oh my gosh, if he sticks around any longer, we're going to have a battle. I really hope we're... Oh. <laughs> oh, it's my explorer ship he's after. Well, I, I think his mission is pretty known. <laughs> I could have told you that. <laughs> but we are going to be getting in here very... Up oh, there we are. Okay, great. So what's this guy going to do? We are going to attack this guy. Are all ships in here? You never know. It looks like they are jumping to better. Jumping the other better. Okay, let's go pounce. Pick up structural reinforcement. Stop! Is one of these structural reinforcement? Yes! Move this way. Let him jump in. Prepare to attack. Shields to maximum. Oh god! Right behind us. <laughs> Not ideal, but I think he's going to be in a world of hurt very quickly. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's going well for us so far. Some goofy... Uh, yeah... He's going to try to get out of here. But he's not going to make it. Good riddance. All right. Fantastic. Go back. Repair and refuel. Oh, wait. Somebody else wants a piece? The escort? I think one of the guys jumped away. So... Maybe he got hurt? No, why did Grim Rage jump? Man, his, his jump engine is so quick. Anyways, we'll see how this goes. I think it's going to go basically pretty well for us. And that'll teach those stupid clan of superiority to do their thing. Oh god, please attack him. He's jumping! We're going to do any damage to him in time. It'd be nice to get some hits in. Oh my gosh, we might kill him in time. Oh gosh, we did crazy damage to him. Wow. Okay, um, go ahead and forget about him. He's going to have to go back and repair. And even though we know where he will go to repair, well, they're at least one ship down. That'll teach them. Um, oh, wait, what? Propose the following offer, restricted trading agreement for 11,000. I'm not keen on sending 11,000 for money, so no. They would likely accept this? What about for less money? Okay. Close. Speak. Negotiate. Pick up 
doesn't even give me an offer a chance to do it now. Okay, I'm just going to close it. I don't know what's going on with the diplomacy there. I'm not even giving me a chance to offer it. Okay, so we'll go back here and we'll refuel. I don't know why we're refueling at their colony. That's going to cost money. Did they already jump? Yes, damn it. I might get them to stop and just refuel at mine. So I'm pretty sure you just pay market value. And I have a station here with... Yeah, go refuel here. Stupid, stupid kids. Not paying attention. It's just like the military folk to not really care about the budget. <laughs> well, at least our reputation's getting better. Okay, crystal sensors have been complete, and that is big. So I actually neglected the research we finished before this as well. Oh, that's right, enhanced commerce trading. So does this enhanced commerce trader, I think it's just a V2 upgrade. Let's go down and check it out. Yeah, it is good. So that's great. That means, but the new one is not a V2 upgrade. The new one being the crystal sensors. So we'll go ahead and start looking at our ships again and seeing which ones might benefit from longer range scanners. Colony ship. Nope, not, I don't need to design that. It's automatic anyway. Construction ship does not have room for it. Does not have anything there. It's construction ships, I mean, I, it would be nice. I mean, the ex exploration ship is the number one I would like to put the like to put this on. But it's it's got seven. I'm debating whether or not I put take off a proton engine and put on a directional thruster, and that would give me thirteen. It would actually give me enough for t a size ten something. I think that might actually be worth it. Okay, let's let's just humor ourselves here for one. Let me humor myself. I think this is going to be a good idea. Okay, sixty, sixty-nine. I don't know. I think that turning and jumping is just more important anyway. Let's do this. We have yeah, we have two left, so we can get first of all the crystal sensors. Ah, right, of course, we can't do it because we're already, we're already using two sensor slots. <laughs> well, the resource scanner itself is probably not that important anymore, now that a lot of the stupid asteroids have been cleared. It'd be actually nice to get two different ones, but okay, so we'll leave the exploration ship as is. It's not going to be a candidate for this. Let me go take a look at our escort then. Currently has four available, four space open. I don't really see us getting any like throwing this on. So unfortunately, I think the best place for this is on the civilian ships, which is eh, okay, you know, of debatable. Oh yeah, they already have it. Perfect. <laughs> I was gonna say of debatable integrity or something like that. You know, like you really want to do that to the civilians, but yeah, I do. And they will get them. Could my frigates have them by any chance? Answer is no. Well, I could do the same trick, but I don't want to lose any more speed. Hmm. Definitely don't want to lose any more fuel. Yeah, fair enough. I'll just leave it as is. So we got these nice new crystal sensors. God only knows what we'll do with them. <laughs> I guess I can put them on the space spaceports. I can't because I'm I'm overweaponed on those. I can put them on the resort bases. <laughs> yeah, cancel that. Let me just look at the resort base as is. Yeah, it does have a proximity sensor. So just upgrading this is the right thing. Upgrade, should not touch anything else. Let me just um, copy as new though. No, I like upgrade because it, it automatically, um, what is it called? Deactivates the previous one. Obsoletes, it op automatically obsoletes the other one. Yeah, and it did put the sensor on automatically, which is nice. Just make sure nothing else here looks wrong. 
And since star beams are on every port, I don't need to worry about weapon arcs. Um, okay, good enough. Most of these things are automatic, so we don't have to worry about those. Very good. Back to the back to you know moving forward. Oh man, early ion weapons just finished in four days. Oh, wow, very quickly. No, it didn't. That was the spies. Fantastic, man. We're getting a lot of good stuff. Three troop transports. I'm afraid that is going to have to wait. Okay, so what other stuff can we do? This double agent's just about hit his limit. Anybody else getting tractor beams? No. So that's one thing you can get. Might have to retire him after all that. What's our planet's max cap again? 70. Okay, good. So we still have room. Just hit insert on my keyboard to go zip right on out. They're going to refuel there, which is good. I'd actually prefer them to be refueling in the Alzac um, system anyway. Because if we run into any trouble, it's most likely going to be here. And having my fleet in system versus in Born and Kun is just a, it's a big difference to me. Somebody just get found out? Yes. <laughs> Who? I don't, why did I do, close that message? Yoke Nisuri. No. Bummer. Okay, so we're doing a little bit of spying. Don't, people don't need to get so upset about it. Oh, turning, turns out just opening the message log and closing it again <laughs> brings the pop-ups back where they should. That's amazing. I didn't know that. It <laughs> should have been obvious, but yeah. Some more stuff we can research down there. Still really hoping to get better colonization stuff soon, because right now we don't have uh, much in the way of promising colony options. So probably next is research, uh, wait, yes, yeah, so we have this, then we have, well, and by the way, I should be crash researching this. Love thousand, yes, we'll pay that. Layered armor will also crash research, which is going to be a bit expensive, 50,000 we'll need, we probably won't have it. Now after that, well, it's always fun to consider, but I think we're going to go with improved colonization. That'll take five years. The thing is, I think our military is in an okay position, and my my main tactic, as you probably already know, is just to stall out the military research as long as possible to get economic benefits from research as quickly as possible. Another thing would be the planetary governance, but I, I think that the colony the colonization pod will be a little bit better. Okay, so we're actually going to start getting these uh, diplomacy things. Yeah, I'm going to queue it. Oh, it's going to be expensive to queue even, but I think we're going to queue it. And of course, the even better benefits of colonization type stuff would be if we got the ice colonization, which will take 10 years. We might have to wait on that, but at least the colonization, I don't see anything which is pressing for us. By the way, the plus the ice colonization one will give us plus 5% quality on all, on all ice planets. And that also means our home planet. So it effectively increases your tax income. It's very, very, very powerful. But it's is it worth 10 years of research? I, I can't say yes. It's worth that, you know, obviously it's worth having it, even if it takes 10 years, but opportunity cost, what else might we want to get in the in the meantime? All right, well, let's keep pushing forward at 4x for now. Thrust vectors will be with us soon. Yeah, early ion weapons, not a big deal. We didn't really need to do anything with that. We're going to climb this. We got another researcher, I mean, another... Evaded detection to get diplomacy. 
Okay, this is Koopy. And Gordas also... They both evaded detection, so let's get them right back on missions. So you were... I don't know, I might be reversing their... Um, what they were doing, but... Let's have you steal more Tekken stuff. And you steal more Akdarian stuff. I also should... I should have done this right away, but let's see how far we have. Yeah, okay, we're about a third in both. A little bit closer to a half with the Tekans, but... Definitely uh, worth warrants a follow-up. So that's what we'll do. Hmm. Somebody dares attack us, huh? Oh, I don't think that they actually will have enough to kill me. Believe it or not. 120. Do you have any weapons? Yeah, you're firing your minor little concussion missile at them. Oops, okay, there's that. That one's done. And the next up is layered armor. We definitely don't have the money for it yet. He got out of there, which is good. This guy is not gonna be stopped. He apparently has, unfortunately, heavy railgun. Yeah, that is, that is just devastating. Oh, this is the 199, this is the guy. This is the guy! Oh, this is the guy. We won't get there in time. I would. I was just about to send my fleet, but I, uh, we're not going to be able to get there in time. His, his thing is actually. His weapon is so powerful, it will disintegrate this thing just too quickly, unfortunately. I don't think that they will destroy it. They'll want to raid it, right? But. What do you have? Concussion missile, proximity sensors, okay. We're just not doing anything. Which is a bad sign if my fleet dropped in. But my fleet is also, you know, like 20 times more powerful than that. We have refueled, we're waiting. Ah, like, well, I should have acted already, but. 51%. Can take them a while to get here. Right click to guard the station. Do I send them out? I think I'm just gonna let them go to the next one. Oh wow, he's doing some serious damage here. I think he's just gonna destroy it outright. Merciless. They're merciless. Okay, Yo Yok has evaded detection, stealing the galaxy map of the Hakonish Union. Great. Okay, good. So we got. Oh, they already have a colony. Damn it, we're so far behind. Apparently, they already know a lot about the Akdarian territory. Mmm, we are sober. Oh, he's sober! <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Very good. What can we do as far as research information? Oh my gosh, there's so much we can do. Wow. 88% is a bit risky. Let's check out their options. Tractor beams. Um, early area weapons. These are both not being touched right now. Yeah, same two. Pulsed blast weapons, that's good. I think we'll start going after that. Pulsed blast weapons should be tier two. It's actually impressive that the Actarians have that. Okay, so is this important? Not really, considering we already have a, a tech line, but whatever, I mean, it's not bad. It's not gonna hurt. Just opportunity cost. I see it's already been 45 minutes. 
Ah, man, we're behind on colonies. We need another colony. Let's actually take a look and see what their colonies are. They have... Oh! They have conquered the the fuzzies. What are these guys' names? Atuk. Yeah, that's right. Atuk. And I guess some Hakonish there. So they've taken over an Atuk planet. Um, considering it's the Hakonish, something tells me it wasn't peacefully. But the Actarians looks like they have actually... Yeah, this is a planet which started probably at 30 million. So yeah, this is um, this is just a second colony for them, and it's quality 76, which is insane. Darian quality is yeah to plus 26. That's really good. Carbonite, good resource to have too. Anyway, well, we really need to get a second colony. I just don't see any options yet. We'll look for them. But for now, let me call this one to a close. Until the next one, thanks for watching, stay safe, and take care.